your blue panties. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Benjamin Huerta. Welcome to another episode of The Spotlight. Today, in this beautiful morning, we're going to be talking with the man behind one of the dopest clothing lines in San Diego right now, Cuadro Alley. We're going to talk about where it all got started, some of the inspirations, and where he hopes to take the brand from here. So when you come follow us, see what it's all about. Ah. Standing here with the man behind Rottweiler, Mr. Steve, how are you? Good, bro. All right, so let's let's acknowledge the, the canine in the room. What's, what's up with Rottweiler? Well, Rottweiler, well, um, we started the brand in the beginning of 2016. I initially started working on the designs. Uh, Mid-2015, I was working as a graphic designer and I was um, working in a boutique and I was selling selling a lot of clothes and, and I was just doing math in my head, thinking about how many pieces were being sold on the daily and I knew that I could come with some, it's way harder. And uh, so that's where the idea of Rottweiler came from. There was a film in the 80s called Dogs and uh, it was about these dogs that went crazy and started eating all of their owners. And that's where the Rottweiler idea came from. Uh, where I grew up at, there was um, one of my major influences, an artist named Gods. He uh, he bred Rottweilers. And so it was a big deal for me as a kid, like always being over and around him and around the dogs. They were super scary to me, but like I got comfortable with them. And I realized that like, you don't have to be afraid. And that fear, as soon as that fear like left me, then I felt like I could do whatever I wanted to. That's when I started the brand. I just knew that I was going to do it. I wasn't really going to be afraid of what people were going to think or anything like that. And then uh, I just came out the gate swinging. Like 2016, we did our first event. I did, um, I dropped our core hats, the hats that we're still producing right now. Um, and a collection titled The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And they were all like sublimation style printing shirts. And uh, the retail price was like $36, which was just a little bit over what the standard was, like about 28. There was a lot of brands that I was seeing were just kind of regurgitating the same over and over. So I was like, I want to do something a little bit different and come with these styles and these graphics that I've been working on. And that's all it was. I, I just dropped that. And then the rest of the year was crazy, bro. Went through a lot, like uh, from friends to family, like losing people that were close to me. And then, uh, and then just feeling like I had just gotten like a second life. I just felt like this was the birth of something crazy. And we just took it and ran with it. But would you mind explaining to us some of the designs you got here? I yeah. see a lot of like religious imagery and whatnot. Okay. And now that we know what's behind the dog, I'm really glad I know that. But some of this, would you mind explaining it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this piece right here, this is from our These You May Eat collection. What it means is uh, in the Bible, they make a bunch of references to different things that you can and cannot eat. And um, this one was really important to me because they have here like the jackal and he's being fed mana. And so this is an Egyptian hieroglyph of um, being fed the bread of life, but they're feeding the bread of life to a dog. And so this corresponded with a certain um, uh, Bible verse that was about like, uh, don't give dogs what is holy, don't place pearls before swine, because um, the swine will trample the pearls and the dogs will just turn and eat you. I started learning more and more about it, other things started connecting. I have a bachelor's degree from state in sociology, psychology, and anthropology. So really like learning about the world and learning about Egypt and and learning how much we don't know about the Egyptian uh, history and, and those people. Um, and then what the Jewish Israelite slaves took with them as they left, like um, there was just, there, that gets really deep. These are all crazy things that like through studying different religions, which was what I was doing for five years while I was selling clothes and like making designs and working with Rossi and Swap City and doing all that. Like I was like, all right, how am I gonna drop all these ideas into a clothing line? like subliminally so that people can like catch a vibe off the graphic and then later on i'll be able to explain and they might come across something very interesting to them that will lead them to explore further and like basically force them to pay attention to rottweiler i just try to take the things that i learn and share them with people so i know it's like it's just street where it's not that serious but there's a lot of other knowledge that's out there to be gained, and that's what I want to do with Rottweiler is share, share stories, share information, like teach people about where they come from, really. Everything down to like the tag, like we pay full attention to detail, like 
this right here is supposed to be like um the divine proportion so this is like a one inch square and this is like point like six one eight of an inch and that's exactly where that falls on that's that's called the golden ratio wow on this side it has like the do without will it's um a phrase that alistair crowley coined it's from the book of the law but the full verse is like do without will shall be the whole of the law love is the law love under will and that it just means like do things out of love do do whatever you're gonna do if you don't if you do something that's negative or positive it's gonna have some kind of like trickling effect down the road where like a butterfly effect like it's going to cause something else to happen so if you if you can kind of watch what it is that you're doing and try to leave like a positive impact then then you know in your heart that you're doing something positive and that's that's the way that you're going to go but if you keep doing negative like you're not going to be able to get out of that you know so that's what i wanted to do take everything that i was doing turn it into something positive take all the negative um that was coming at me throughout the year and just just drop this, you know, drop some heat on everybody. So got a mill, got a mill. Now that you've met Stilo and seen some of his designs, we're gonna head over to where the magic happens over at One Designs. See some more shirts being made and see what they're all about. Police will probably stop us thinking we selling cocaine. Yeah. Hey. So we're sitting here in the offices of 3-in-1 Designs, where David gets all of his designs done, and we're sitting here with Bill Boone, the owner of the of the establishment. How are you doing, Mr. Yeah, pleased to meet you. Thank you. All right, so would you mind telling us what it is that you offer here? We offer anything you need printed, decorated. We're a one-stop shop for all your printing needs. Uh, we started small, just doing t-shirts, but then as each year progressed, uh, the need for each customer changed and now we do business cards, postcards, banners, all your signage, we do your mugs, we do tablecloths, whatever you need, we get it done. We've been here now going on eight years and uh, we've just been blessed. Uh, we started from nothing, literally, and over the last eight years have grown to now we're if I tried to quit the business, it would take me at least two years to roll it back because of uh, how big we've grown. But we've been blessed abundantly and, and we, we we're happy to be able to be in Logan and to serve Logan. Do you mind telling us how you got involved with Rodweiler? So David works here and he also has his clothing line that we print up here. He first came in and he... he told me one day we were burning screens for him and one day he said that uh hey if you ever need any extra work just let me know at the same time we actually got real heavy with uh some navy orders and i needed another screen printer and uh he started off as a screen printer and now he's our main graphic designer he's helped push not only his own creativity with his own clothing line but also push our uh printing abilities because now we can print anything uh, CMYK that we weren't able to do before. It's been it's been uh, uh, quite a ride. So that's that. If you guys have anything you want to get printed, some shirts, some hoodies, some carts, this is the man you want to talk to. Four times. I'm riding down to Vegas Strip on a payday. Okay, my fanny pack full of hundreds wrapped in a gold chain. Police will probably stop us thinking we selling cocaine. Thinking we selling coke. And on my phone got me toasted. So Identity is a shop my, my buddy Alex owns. Um, he's a local San Diegan, but he, he was living in the Bay for a little while. Uh, just hella influenced like by the culture, the art, style, everything. And uh, we met like as soon as he moved back down here. And um, I just been coming here, like doing pop-up shops with him, working with him closely. Uh, and yeah, bro, he's been super supportive with Rottweiler selling. He, he, he f with it. He knows that other people f with it. So that relationship is there, bro. This is like um, this is a shirt we just printed up for them over the weekend at three and one. Um, yeah, identity, bro. Shout out identity. Shout out Alex. So you've been around for a year, and you still got a lot to go. It's already doing very well. Where do you see the brand going? 
there's, there's like a fork in the road right now where I'm at. I don't know if I want to take the brand and go more so online and target like people that are that have a strong online presence or if I want to like kind of pull away off like the internet a little bit and like increase my presence inside of stores. Um, there's a bunch of stores that I like I have my eyes on that I really would like to get into. Um, some throughout California, others like across the US and then some international stores that I think would be really dope to get into. For someone that doesn't know the brand, what do you want them to know about the brand and what better it sense? I just like people to take the product at face value because I I add so much detail into like the like the pieces, like like I said, the tag, like all of our information, our website can be found on there. Um, and just through that, like, go go and explore. Like, you may not have been expecting to fall upon or stumble upon all of this, but yeah. but just I encourage you, once you do come across it, to dig deeper because there's there's deeper meanings in all of it. And uh, just come along for the ride. Like, I'll, I'll show you so many cool things, you know? It's going to be dope. She on the neck and knees. I don't be saying ho. What's good, bro? This is Stilo from Rottweiler. You guys are tuned in to the spotlight. I'm over here at Identity Shop, giving you guys a rundown about Rottweiler, what we're about, what we stand for, and what we got planned for you. Thanks for tuning into this episode of the Spotlight. If you saw anything you like, come on and check out Identity Rottweiler Three in the Signs. If you do, let them know the Spotlight sent you. And like always, thanks for sticking around with us, man. Stay righteous, San Diego. Give me the top dollar. I got the pop collar. You know the name of this. I got on Rottweiler. I do the thing with ease. She on the neck and knees. I don't be saying ho. I just be saying please. Give me the top dollar. I got the pop collar. You know the name of this. I got on Rottweiler. I do the thing with ease. She on the neck and knees. I don't be saying ho. I just be saying please. Give me the top dollar. I got the pop collar. You know the name of this. I got on Rottweiler. I do the thing with ease. She on the neck and knees. I don't be saying ho. I just be saying please. Give me the top dollar. I got the pop collar.